Hello, I'm Sara. I'm Italian, uh, but I moved to Berlin two and a half years ago, almost. Uh, before, when I was in Italy, I was more like a full stack developer. But when I decided to move to Berlin, I wanted to do it with a more front end position. And I'm super happy with that choice. Uh, and now I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, I think my parents have uh, had a very big uh, impact on that. My father was a developer himself and he like they both always wanted me to have a connection with computers. Wow. Um, and so maybe I don't know, because girls like, you know, look at the father and so on. I was always like super intrigued by his work and I when it came to make the decision for high school. I went to like this economic uh, school uh, that also had um, IT courses uh, because I really wanted, I kind of already knew that I wanted to be a developer. Uh, and also when I chose the university course, it was like science, multimedia and science technologies uh, because I always, I was always very um, interested in technologies in like, the whole picture you know so not just developing and writing code but also being i don't know knowing something about marketing and more like ui ux and so on so this is i think also why i'm more a front-end developer than a back-end developer uh you can really see what you're doing when you're a front-end like you can really uh, feel that you are writing code but you're also creating something and that's pretty cool <laughs> But uh, when you start creating a page and you see like this black text in a white page and then with just a few lines of code, you're creating this incredible page. It's like, I, I would say it's the best feeling. Oh, definitely, yeah. Ah, that's, uh, I, I don't know, like I always feel that I'm a junior in a way because you never, especially in tech, you're never, uh, you're never reaching a level when you know everything, you know, because one day something new comes up and so on. So that's always, you have to keep up. Uh, so never stop learning in this field. So sometimes I always like, I will always be a junior developer. I think the moment when I realized I was a little bit more advanced was uh, when I was starting mentoring people. Uh, so people came to me asking questions and so on. I was like, hey, I can, I can answer this. I can help you with this. So <laughs> that was like, I think the first moment when I realized this. Um, I don't know, like in general, when you create features, especially now that I'm working more like in the product side, um, you can really see like the public in a way, you know, uh, what you're doing. So that that's always cool. And when clients are happy with what you have done, that's the best feeling in general. One kind of big achievement that I uh, would say I had was uh, last year when I was still in my previous company, I, I was picked for a project and I went to London for three months uh, working with IDEO um, for like a side project. And, you know, the company was like uh, 1500 people and like, of course, front end developers are uh, way less, but uh, they picked me to be the front end representative person for them. And that was very, very cool. Um, yes, uh, of course, I had my moments, especially at the beginning of my career when I was, but I have to say it was like, like in Italy, I don't know if it's just like a cultural thing or more because like I was way younger and definitely junior, uh, people a lot of times, uh, like were not listening to me, not even considering was what I was telling them, not even letting me speak. Uh, I was like, hello, I'm here. So I'm, I'm a tough cookie. So I, uh, if I want to talk, I will talk. <laughs> so uh, I was like, I don't know, 22 years old when I started working. And I was like with these men that were 
40 more years old and but that didn't scare me and it was just like making my voice heard and uh I think you have to have some balls in a way to be a woman and be a developer for sure things are changing now and I'm very happy about that uh but it's still in general like being a woman and working is always hard because you're maybe going to be a mother one day and then you're taking you know uh, maternity leave and because I don't know just in general it's hard uh, especially in tech there's still this idea of men being like you know the nerd the kind of geek men working in IT and not like a, a woman in general always when I told people uh, when I met them that I'm a developer they're like huh uh, okay, uh, and that actually is one of the best thing <laughs> about being a, a woman and a developer because I can see that face and I love to see that face in people. They're like, ha, ah, you're doing something that is not expected from you. That's cool. And I, I really like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm still friends with I still have friends that were my former colleagues uh, definitely so when I work I don't care if you're a man or a woman so I, I have this personality and I'm kind of open and friendly so sometimes that can be misleading maybe so that's something that I have faced in the past um, people thinking that I was maybe I don't know interested and I was not it was just like you know we are colleagues we're working together so uh but that's like a small thing i think that can happen uh anywhere um but yeah i mean sometimes it's so on my side i'm trying to don't have any prejudice when i'm talking to someone uh, i don't care like religion race gender we are all the same if you're doing your job you're doing your job and if you're good at it you're good at it if you're not you're not and that's it right it doesn't matter um who you are, um, but uh, yeah, I kind of have this um, imposter syndrome, you know, sometimes because I think that I have to prove myself even more because I am a woman, because people will think, ha, ah, she doesn't know this stuff because she's a woman. I'm like, uh, maybe I really don't know this. Uh, so that's sometimes hard to to work on this. And I, I, and I know that a lot of other friends, uh, female friends have this, this issue. So I think that this is something that it should really be uh, toggled and like talked about um, for sure. But it, it, at the same time, so it's, it's sad because you have this feeling, but it's also good because you're always ready to learn and to, you know, step up your game because you want to be better because you have to prove more in a way, even though you don't have to prove that you think you do so you're doing better um, something like that <laughs> that's a very hard question because i don't think uh, i will always overcome this issue uh, because it's definitely something that you i'm going to face forever but not only me you know it's like everyone um i think having people so what i really like for example in the company where i am right now is like when we have this retrospective moment and we have like the kudos section and when people are actually thanking you or like telling you how like what that your job was great and so on i think that really helps building confidence so when you have people telling you that you're doing a good job, that's, that's for sure uh, nice and, and helpful. But I also, uh, with my previous um, experiences, I also realized that you have to be your first fan and you have to tell like, you know, hey, you did a good job today. So good job, but also to be critical and say, maybe you could have done better. And so, I think it's really important in general to be kind of objective with yourself and not just always putting you down uh, because you don't think you're good enough, but sometimes also telling you good job. Uh, and I think that really helped me uh, in my career. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I had mentors in a way. Uh, so before they were, especially in Italy, it was like more my boss. It was telling me what to do and so on. So I maybe could be a sort of a mentor. But when I moved to Berlin, I really found these figures. So in my previous job, I had my colleagues uh, that were working with me. We were doing, you know, like pair programming section sessions. And, uh, and that was like the mentoring moment. I would say that I also mentor a lot myself because I, when I know that I don't know something, I'm looking, at, looking it up. So that's kind of in a way, you know, <laughs> mentoring. And right now in the company where I'm working now, I have the best mentor uh, that is my manager, is the tech lead of the, of the company. Um, I'm so happy. I, can, I know that I can always ask him stuff and I also just chat and that's, that's really great. Um, and I also mentor, so I'm mentoring right now a colleague that is um, moving from being a QA engineer to a front-end developer. So we are doing like this pair programming sessions and asking questions and so on. And also in my previous company, I mentored the junior colleague. Uh, and that was really, really nice. Uh, also because I think when you're mentoring someone is, is not you, teaching them something, mm -hmm. but it's also what you can learn that you don't know yet. Because when you have like, when you are more junior, you don't know maybe very basic stuff and they are asking you these basic things and yeah. you're like, oh wait, do I know this or not? And so it's a way, in a way you're also mentoring again yourself and yeah. I am actually not a member, <laughs> so okay. I, Wait. yeah, I, I know that there are a lot of communities, uh, especially in Berlin about like women in tech and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I should really be more active in, in this type of uh, groups, uh, but yeah, right now I'm, I'm not. Uh, I would say this is a very, so this is, I think, one of the best jobs that we have right now, like in this time, I'm, for example, I'm working from the Canary Island now, okay, because we can work remotely, so I, I'm just here now, and that's a def like definitely a plus. Uh, I would say, though, that is not something that um, anyone can do, meaning that if you're doing this only because it's cool, you're going to have a really hard time. You really need to be passionate about coding because otherwise this can be very, very stressful and hard, especially when you have these bugs and you don't know how to solve them. You're like, oh, why did I move to, you know, why did I became a developer? Um, but in general, I don't know, just if you really like and you really feel that this is what you want to do, uh, just go for it and you have to know that you always have to learn something every day so it's not like oh and now I know how to code and that's it forever so keep up continue learning uh, and just enjoy because it's one of the best jobs that we have right at the moment definitely.